Let's get ready to induce general anesthesia. My name is David Warren. I'm a nurse anesthesia resident out in California. And today the first case is a laparoscopic robot assisted umbilical hernia repair. I like to have all of my drugs drawn up and ready to go because anesthesia is mainly about anticipation on what might happen. First, I'm gonna get some fentanyl drawn up. Fentanyl is a powerful opioid anesthetic and analgesic. It gets a really bad rap on the street, but when used safely in the operating room, it is very effective. Next, I'm gonna draw up lidocaine. It is a amide local anesthetic. It helps blunt the sympathetic response to laryngoscopy, and it also helps with the burn of propofol. The next medication is indeed propofol, the most common anesthetic agent that we use in the OR. It helps put you to sleep. I draw two sticks of propofol, one to go to sleep with, and then when I'm waking up and emerging slash extubating, I work in propofol after the gas is being blown off. After that, I'm going to draw up rocuronium. I'm a little weird. I put my rocuronium into a 10 cc syringe, so 100 milligrams total. This is a non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocker and it paralyzes you. Next, I'm gonna get some succinylcholine drawn up. Succinylcholine is a depolarizing neuromuscular blocker. I'm actually not gonna use sucks on this case, but I do like to have a stick in the vicinity just in case there is an emergency like a laryngospasm. After that, I'm gonna draw up Decadron and Zofran. These two drugs are powerful anti-emetics that prevent post-operative nausea and vomiting. And then we have ketamine, probably one of my most favorite drugs. It comes in pre-filled syringes here. Ketamine is an excellent analgesic and it reduces the requirements of anesthesia. After that, we have Sugamidex that reverses our non-depolarizer. And then I'm gonna get my pressors ready. So phenylephrine and ephedrine. Phenylephrine is an alpha-1 agonist and ephedrine is a direct and indirect alpha-1 and beta-1 agonist. I have both of those ready to go just in case I have blood pressure issues. Last but not least, we have Presidex. I draw it up in a 1cc syringe and give anywhere from about 10 to 20 micrograms. And finally, we have glycopyrrolate, an anticholinergic medication that helps prevent bradycardia during abdominal and